So same patient was referred to me for an endodontic treatment of tooth number 23. And again, this because of his medical history, we can't do extractions on him. We couldn't do extractions on him at the time. As you can see, a large, large cavity here, big decay and periapical relucency right there. Okay, so that was three years ago when he was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number 23. So went ahead and cleaned out the decay, rebuilt the missing walls there. And as you can see, did the root canal and you can see the periapical lucency in here. I used the injection technique and as you can see, I'm short. Doesn't matter, obturating short, does obturating short cause endodontic failure? Let's see. This is immediately after we did the root canal three years ago. So as you can see right here, 2020, three years ago. And this was yesterday. Three years post-op of tooth number 23, as you can see, periapical lucency is healed completely. So, obturating short has no, no effect, No, does not have any negative effect on the outcome of endodontic treatment, as you can see here. And here's the date, three years ago, three, um, when I saw him yesterday. So this would be a three-year post-op of tooth number 23. Tooth, tooth is in full function. Patient is asymptomatic. As you can see, as I said, periapical resistance is healed completely. As long as you instrument to length and get rid of the microorganisms, then obturating short, obturating flush, obturating long has no, does not have a negative effect on the outcome of endodontic treatment. And multiple studies have shown that as well. And this is another example. So three years post-op of tooth number 23, Filled short, no effect, periapical lucency healed. And again, here's the date. Three years post-op of tooth number 23.